Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. That's right. It's Wednesday, new album review day today. We've got uh, a couple for you today. We've got a lot coming in over the next couple weeks. I've got a stack of new things sitting here. Need to just find the time to listen to all of them. Uh, but we're going to deliver a couple for you here today. The first one, excellent excellent contemporary jazz fusion album and band as a matter of fact it's the fifth album from this unit simon phillips protocol basically protocol is the fusion band of simon phillips which uh, ironically protocol started out in the 80s as basically just a complete solo vehicle for simon uh, the very very first album which i believe came out in 88 uh, on music for nations uh, he played all the instruments on but it has developed into an actual band over the years. In fact, he didn't uh, release another one till 2013. You've, we got the Protocol 2 album in 2013, which featured uh, Andy Timmons, Steve Weingart, and Ernest Tibbs. Protocol 3 came out in 2015. This is, I think, where Simon finally realized this is an actual band we got here. Uh, Protocol 3 also featured the same lineup. That changed on 2017's Protocol 4, where you substituted Greg Howe on guitar, Dennis Ham and Ernest Tibbs. Now we've got Protocol 5. Ernest Tibbs, Otmaro Ruiz, Jacob Chesney, and Alex Sill. So let's take a look at this. Uh, this is on uh, Phantom Recordings here. Got Simon on the cover. There are the guys in the band. So again, um, let's see if I got a, let's see if there's a booklet in here. Yeah, let's see if here's some cool stuff. All instrumental, now expanded to a five-piece. Pretty damn cool. Um, let's see if we got my additional information here. Recorded at Carbonite Sounds in uh, California, engineered by Jason Mar Mariani. Additional recordings at Tritone Studios, mixed by Simon Phillips at Phantom Recordings. Uh, let's see what other information we got here. Of course, you know Otmaro Ruiz on keyboards, Ernest Tibbs on bass. Uh, Jacob Sesney on saxophone and Alex Sill on guitars. So, you know, this is, uh, for the most part, not like the most, not a group of really, really well-named guys, or well-known guys, I should say, but extremely talented. Uh, we've got on this particular album, you've got uh, seven new compositions, really tasty, melodic, classy, fiery jazz fusion. Uh, starts off with uh, Jaganath, okay, pretty up-tempo, lots of great interplay between the guys. I like the addition of the saxophone here. I think if um, if I can make any kind of comparison to this album specifically, because I think all the, the Protocol albums have somewhat of a similar feel, but I think that changes a little bit with the addition of the sax here. And I think it adds almost like this kind of uh, electric band element to things. Chick Corea is, of course, great electric band. And I find the playfulness among the musicians and some of the whimsical melodies kind of similar to what Chick was doing back with that band. But there are some things going on here that kind of throw that whole theory for the loop a little bit. You got uh, Isosceles, track number two, really good really blazing, really aggressive stuff like that. You got the Nyanga, which is a much mellower, kind of soothing atmospheric, really nice melodies, nice piano work on that. Then you got the uh, Undiv... Un, geez, Undivigenti. Could be my favorite track on the album. And that kind of reminds me of Jeff Beck a little bit. The, the kind of the synth work and the melody line on there reminds me of the uh, There and Back album a little bit. Really cool. Kind of got this Jan Hammerish thing going on, which I really like. Uh, when the Cat's Away is blazing. Also love that. Dark Stars, a little more moody. And then you got the wonderful The Long Road Home, which is uh, 11 minutes and change, longest track on the album. And that is also a really good piece. Kind of proggy. It's definitely fusion, but there's some really interesting layers in that song, and it kind of takes you on a journey. Uh, again, you know, the, the compositional style of Chick Corea kind of comes to the, you know, comes to mind a little bit on this song as well. It's a really classy album. Like I said, I really like it a lot. I like all these albums from Protocol. And this is just the latest in a in the new journey, the next journey of Simon Phillips' great band. If you haven't heard these guys, well, Fusion is alive and well in the 2020s, folks. 
thanks to Simon Phillips. Uh, he, you know, when I interviewed him, oh, a year or so ago, uh, he was actually pretty excited talking about the uh, this album that he was working on at the time with the guys. So it's really cool to finally hear this. And uh, yeah, and the drumming is just off the charts good. You know, it's funny because yeah, I'm I'm sitting here thinking I really haven't honed in on anybody's performance on here because it's such a tight band that it's almost like they all play their part they all do it really well you of course you've got solos all you got sax solos guitar solos bass uh keyboards drum you know you got it's everybody gets their moment to shine but it's a true band album and it's more like the playing on here is playing for the songs and all the songs are very recognizable and have great arrangements and yes they allow for solo moments but this is not an album full of crazy blow and left and right and crazy solo it's not not all about that uh, which is what's really cool about it. So the really good compositions allows everybody to shine, but working within that tight confines of the band. So uh, there you have it. Simon Phillips and his band Protocol, number five. Hope they keep coming. We'll see if he keeps changing the lineup or not, or whether these guys stay kind of as is. You know, I mean, he's had some. I mean, crap, he's had on guitar uh, Andy Timmons and Greg Howe, both who are amazing players in the past. So uh, it's just we'll, we'll see how it keeps going on and. Uh, Great players on this one as well. So, and I gotta say, you got uh, Ernest Tibbs. That's the real deal. So, but the, everybody on here is fantastic. So, check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Stay tuned for more stuff coming up. Uh, please uh, visit us on the web. Did I just say that? www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we are on YouTube all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. We also have the links below to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page where you can get all sorts of cool Sea Tranquility stuff. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more new, more new album reviews today and uh, lots more happening on the channel. So uh, stay tuned and don't go anywhere. I'm Pete Pardo. See you soon. Bye.